M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. USDX version 2. Now these come with a built-in speaker and battery. They, they've used the orange for obvious reasons. Then we've got the DL2 MAM, which has a fantastic reputation. So at the moment you're hearing the, the left one. Now the speakers aren't great on either of these, to be honest. Um, so I, I recommend an, an external speaker, but I'm just showing it with the internal speaker now. So I'm, I'm going to plug in an external speaker. If you go too loud, it starts to distort, you see. I suppose you could attenuate. Let's go. No menu there. Let's go up a bit. Attenuate a bit. I think that helped. Now let's plug it into the, the D2 MA. And don't forget there's been a lot of firmware uh, enhancements here. If anything, I need to update my firmware because I haven't done it for a while. So let's swap and let's try and listen to the same station. Of course, you can calibrate both of these. So, you know, straight away, I am noticing that the MAM one is, is, is in my opinion, is, is, I don't know, it's just better. Still got the distort with the small speaker, but I'm going to plug in an external in a second. But, but as we tune through, there's FTE modes. So you press and it moves the step along. Press and hold, you can turn down the volume. Now let's do just quickly do a bit of tuning on on the um, USDX, and then we'll add that we'll add our speaker in. I might even use a Bluetooth one because all I do is add a Bluetooth sender, which looks like this, and um, and then I just connect one of my nice Bluetooth speakers. I've got a nice flashy one here. That flashes colours. I'm going to do that just there at the moment. So uh, let's just quickly tune a bit on this as we are, and then we're going to add the speakers. You press, and you can fine tune, like so. You fine tune like that. Oh, you double press, yeah, you change bands. I'm trying to keep my hands out of the way, it's such a small device. I am just using the batteries that are on these. On my MAN device, I purchased the extra sort of battery pack that you can get. Now I had a contact on, I've had contacts on both of these, but I had a contact on the new USDX the other day and uh, it was fine and I was just on the battery and I had two contacts within 10, mi 10, 10 minutes. So it does work, very hard to scientifically uh, compare, but let's add an external speaker, see if we get a better experience. So it says, you, I mean, I highly recommend you get one of these. I'll put the link in. They're like seven pound. You turn it on, obviously, but any Bluetooth speaker, this one flashes. Turn them both on. They flash blue and red. They pair and it's done. And it's into the headphone jack at the front here. Um, so let's just tune through now. We've got that. It's definitely a lot better with the speaker, I think. It so makes it so much nicer. Having that external speaker. And I, you know, I've had, I've seen lots of people. Well, I've had messages. People saying this is junk. This one here is junk, junk. But 
No, it's not junk, and it was selling at £60. I think they're a bit more now. They're a bit more now. More like 80. But they do have everything included. I, the battery on this I had to pay extra for. I think I'm going to do a video soon updating my firmware because I bet you it's not the latest. Sorry about the bright light here. Okay, so let's swap and we'll put the speaker at the same speaker here on the side of the MA DL2 MA um, audio it says there so we're just going to unplug here and plug it into there and get the antenna off <laughs> or live of course it's a 49 to 1 ballon and a long wire Ooh, better not turn it too loud So annoying that everything's small and fiddly. Um, help you with the volunteers for WRTC 2026 next year. And your name is on the list. Same speaker. Um, I don't know whether you've heard anything so far, but your name is on the list as a volunteer. Uh, hopefully, if you just put your call sign on the list, it's high, high. There you um, go. <coughs> but I just want to check. If you, you don't for like um, antenna station building and they both have menus. Something I know you're quite good at. I have a suspicion that you, you can be self Both have decoders. Or or and if that's TX drive. I'm, I'm, I'm PA bias. It's all very important how you set it. Uh, of course, you can calibrate, put your call sign in. I just and, press uh, menu Richmond, there. Richmond, North Yorkshire. Bandwidth. There's your band. RIT. They both have all this. And the adapter you used on the antenna is so important because I've I've tried a couple and they weren't very good. And that's nothing to do with the radio. Press to change the step on both. Oh, we've gone to USB there, look. So you go menu, back to one. Number two. A bit impatient <laughs> and of course you can plug microphones into these this one takes a Bofung twin pin K connector this one's uh, on the USDX the single pin on the on the true USDX D2MIN Thank <laughs> you. 
It's gone to USB again. Not really sure what I did there to do that. Let's quickly swap it back and then we'll end the video. And that's like, have a word with you, that's the right one. Uh, good uh, afternoon to the um, seven uh, scout with three, you. Five. Hope you're enjoying the amateur um, radio side of uh, uh, your uh, uh, swap again. It's like an RSGB. Activation. Now, if you look, then again, right. the DL2MN is 135.10. Here we're on seven O's, so it's slightly out, but these kind of USDX devices, you do have to carry calibrate with them. Really. 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 Really.